gotta check you before you wreck yourself. Uh, turn your Bibles while you're standing. Turn your Bibles to First Chronicles, chapter four, verse number nine. Turn your Bibles to First Chronicles, chapter four, verse number nine. We honor God today for your presence. We are declaring there shall be a word that will be a multiple blessing to your life. First Chronicles chapter 4, find your way over to verse number 9. While you're preparing yourself for the reading of God's word, I want to bring to your reference a quote from Chris Burke. Chris says, I have a motto on my bedroom wall. Obstacles are what you see when you take your eye off the goal. Giving up is not my style. I just want to do something that's worthwhile. Amen. And then on this week, the United States Postal Service celebrated my Angelo, one of my African American heroes, with a stamp. And my Angelo said this many years ago, in the midst of a difficult season of her life, you cannot control all the events that happen to you but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Keep that in your mind. I can't control what goes on around me or to me, but I can consider and decide not to let it reduce me. We've been letting too many circumstances and situations reduce us to the situation when we should be situation survivors, situation conquerors, and situation overcomers. Give God one more hand of praise for those testimonies we heard earlier. Situation overcomers. The Bible reads in First Chronicles chapter 4, we will read verse 9 and 10. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the Lord of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And the church shouted because the Bible says, And God granted his request. The church shouted because the Bible says, And God granted his request. As the church took its seat, the church shouted because the Bible says, and the Lord granted his request. And if the Lord is going to regret the request of Jabez, the Lord will also grant my request. Today we're talking about the favor of God turned it in my favor. The favor of God turned it in my favor. There's a problem in society that many people look at someone who has achieved a level of success and admire them for what they have or where they may be. But I take a different perspective when I'm celebrating someone. I don't celebrate someone necessarily from where they are or what they have. I celebrate someone from totality of their entire journey. See, the problem is we meet people at a certain season, a level of their life, without understanding all the hell they went through to get to that point in life. So while you're admiring someone because of where they are right now, you don't know how much it took for them just to wake themselves up. You don't know how much it took for them to keep on going, how the odds were stacked against them. So I don't celebrate just where you are. I don't celebrate you for what you drive or where you live or what you wear. I celebrate the fact you kept on getting up. I celebrate the fact you didn't throw in the towel. I celebrate the fact that when you could have gave up, you kept on pushing yourself. I celebrate you because you traveled a mighty long way. There's an old church. There's an old song in the old church. Look what the Lord has brought us. He's brought us a mighty long way. And then the old saint will say something like, He'll never leave us nor forsake us. We come this far by faith. So I celebrate your journey of faith. Because sometimes the devil will play tricks with you. And you'll get stuck because you're not where somebody else is. But if you equate the distance they've traveled from
from where they started from to where they at, and then look at the distance you traveled from okay. where you started from to where you at. You actually made more progress. Ten feet. I've traveled ten feet, but if I start on the surface and I've traveled five feet, I still look like I'm farther ahead than you. But the reality of it is, you came farther than I have. So stop judging your journey based on somebody else's situation. You got to learn how to make your mind up. The favor of God will turn it in my favor. So I got to celebrate God right where I am, how I am. I got to give God praise right now that God's best. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's still waiting on me. Thank you, Father. We were... In a movie the other day, seeing the Furious Seven, and, and Homie and I, we, we like to watch the previews to see coming attractions, and we'll decide based on the coming attractions if that's something we want to see later. And that's what God is doing right now. He's showing you some coming attractions. And you may not have it yet, but it's coming. You just got to make your mind up if that's something you want to see. Because once the, once the theater wets your appetite with a preview of a coming attraction, you make your mind up, that's something I want to go see. What well, well, I'm telling you today that the future God has for you, I told you last week, I know the plans the Lord has for me. So once I see the coming attractions of what the Lord has for me, I've made my mind up, I've locked my faith in, I'm going to get there. If I got to crawl and if or hop there, I'm going to get there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now that's rich. Ah, that's rich. Yes. See? Mm. That's rich. That's rich. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm going to be real transparent. I'm in awe of God. When people talk about me and praise more than turn. Yes. Yes. I, I, I'm not trying to have false humility. But see, I know my whole story. And I know if it were not for the grace of God, yes, I wouldn't be here. Yes, so, so when men start to, he prays upon me, I, I get kind of withdrawn because I know the real story. That is only by the power of God and the grace of God. And I'm not going to let Satan get any glory by making me think I've done any of this. This is only God. But I say that because to let you know the same God. Does the same God is working in my life is the same God that desires to work in your life. God is literally pleading for you to surrender all over to him and let him show you what he can do in your life. What he can do. Yes. Tell other pastors and people who, for whatever reason, Deacon Jones calling me lucky. During this season of my life, they're saying Deckard is lucky. Wow. I respond by you right, I'm lucky. I'm lucky enough to be lied on. I'm lucky enough to have grown up confused by why my parents didn't raise me. I'm lucky enough to have put all my sweat and tears building a building to let rain come in and flood me out and lose everything I had in the course of three days. I'm lucky enough to while I'm preaching, my baby girl died. I'm lucky enough to to have all kind of sickness attack my body. I'm lucky enough to, to have had swine flu. I'm lucky enough to have acute arthritis. I'm lucky enough to have vertigo. I'm lucky enough to go through all kind of hell to wake up every morning. I'm lucky enough. Don't you wish you were so lucky? But in spite of all that, I'm lucky enough to know that it's God's grace that keeps me. See, I discovered a long time ago, in order for a battery to have power, you got to have a negative connection. So God has so much for me to do, he had to give me a bunch of negative connections. So when the power came on, I'd be able to carry myself and others. The reason you went through what you went through, because God gave you enough negative, so when you hook your pocket up, you be able to go far. That's why you can show up in a foreign city with two dollars and get seven promotions because your negative connect you to your positive and gave you your future. That's why your baby daddy had to bail out on you. You need that negative to get to where you are now. Yes, Jesus. 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 
Jesus. Jesus. Why you crying? Jesus. Over that negative. Jesus. You ought to start shouting. Because the bigger the negative is, the stronger the positive becomes, and the farther you can go. This little man has power because he's been through so much negativity that now the negativity is springboarding me to another level. If you want to go farther, you got to experience some negative. for you very long because Jesus. I'm going to be transparent again. Jesus. I am schooling myself Jesus. to be able to go to two cities every Sunday. Okay. So I'm rebuilding myself mm -hmm. to be able to last. Uh -huh. mm. Let's look at verse 9 again. All right. We're going to get verse 9 now a different order. We're going to put it in its correct time frame. Just how it should have read. Jabez's mother named him Jabez. Uh -huh. See, that should have been first because we born first. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Before we experience any negativity, we're first born. All right. so, so this is the, the correct order time frame of how it should have read. Jabez's mother named him Jabez. Uh -huh. The biblical meaning of the name Jabez is, get this, sorrow, yeah. oh. trouble. Oh. In Hebrew, the meaning of the name Jabez means painful, pain. In the Old Testament, the word Jabez means sorrow, uh -huh. born in pain. Uh -huh. Jabez was born in pain. Uh -huh. So much pain, his mother called him pain. Uh -huh. So you gotta, you gotta imagine this. Every time they called his name in the household, his mother was reminding herself and him and all those presents how painful this boy was. All right. All right. Can, can you imagine wearing a label at the family reunion? Come here, pain. Come here, sorrow. Sorrow, pain, pitiful, negative. Every time someone looks at you, you are identified as a negative situation or negative circumstance in their life. How do you think this little boy's self-esteem was when everybody was calling him painful and sorrow? My God, my God. Oh. You thought you had a difficult childhood. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. had a difficult start. Uh-huh. Like many of you today. But don't throw away the towel. Oh. Because it's not over yet. Oh. It's not where you start. No, how you start is how you run and how you finish. See, I can imagine of the time in his journey that your badge was probably voted most likely to fail. I mean, the odds were against him of ever being anything. Have you ever felt like the odds were stacked against you? Have you ever felt like life has dealt you a bad hand? Have you ever felt like there's no way I can win with this? Have you ever felt like, why do I have all these low numbers, no aces, no kings, no queens, there's a bunch of junk in my hand? Well, I come to remind you that junk in your hand, in the hands of God, can become a winning hand. Don't go in the towel, don't renege, just keep on playing. It's gonna work out in your favor. Word, my God. Come on, press, man of God, press. I'm sure no one would have ever questioned your best uh -huh. if he would have gave up. Based on what he had to work with. Uh -huh. But somehow Jabez kept on believing. Uh -huh. It won't end like this. All right. And truth is, somebody here today is feeling just like Jabez right now. Oh. Tired, weary of all the issues in life. Somebody's mind is scrambled. Oh. Somebody's confused. Somebody is on the edge of life, ready to give up. Somebody is praying, Lord, just blow me over. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Lord, I have no more 
my energy. Lord, my brain is scrambled. My joy is fried. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to make it. It's a struggle just to get out of bed. church every Sunday. Uh -huh. But the burdens are heavy right now. There's probably a crowd here today that's crying out, Lord, why me, Lord? Lord, why me? My God, my God. Jesus, this morning. But too afraid come on, come on, come on. to cry out loud. Because yeah. people may look at you. Judge you. Uh -huh. You better learn how to be set free of people yes. and get what you need to get yes. yourself to the next level. If you keep worrying about people, you'll never get up. You keep worrying about people, you'll never make progress. People will have you on all kind of Prozac. People will have you drunk every night dealing with your issues. That's a better way, but you can't trust people this season. You know what happened with Job. His friends came around criticizing, not encouraging. You better cut yourself free from all the negative people in your life and make your mind up that this is not what God promised me and I don't care what you church folks say I'm not going out like this you can stop writing my funeral program you can stop preparing for my repast I ain't going nowhere I ain't worn yet and I can't leave this place until I've been declared the winner that's why a heart attack couldn't kill you you ain't worn enough yet that's why divorce couldn't be your final reality. You haven't mourned enough yet. My God, my God, my God. Yes. Glory to Jesus. I'm on the side. Vance could have thrown in the towel. What was under me? But the best would teach us how to respond to a bad hand. The Bible says Jabez cried, Lord, bless me right where I am and do something great, something big in my life. On yesterday, one of the men said, they described their pastor, he has big audacity. And I, and that's what your dad was saying. I'm not worried about God relocating me. God used me right where I am. See, the problem is, many of us are waiting for God to do something before we do something. But God has said, I'm ready to do something, but you got to do something for me to do something. Oh, you didn't get that. See, God has said, I want to do something right now. But you waiting on me to do something, so I can't do nothing. Oh, I pray I'm making sense right now. God has said, I want to move in your life right now, but you wait. Don't mean to move in your life before you move. So I can't move in your life because you won't move. God has said, do you remember when they got to the Red Sea? They didn't wait on me to open the water. They started moving in the water. And then when they started moving in the water, I opened the water. God has said, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you to move something. Oh, yeah. Confusion, bless me. In the middle of my pain, bless me. In the middle of my sorrow, bless me. With negativity all around me, bless me. And Lord, don't just bless me, use me. I challenge you right now, wherever you are in your life, to start declaring, God bless me and use me. Oh, God bless me and use me. God, don't bless me just so I look blessed. God bless me so you can use me to bless others. Lord, bless me and make my name great so I can lift others up. Lord, bless me so I may be a blessing. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the middle of all this, he said, Lord, use yes, Lord. me. And then Jabez says, not only Lord, use me. Jabez yes. says, Lord, keep your hand with me. And I don't know about you, but personally, I need the Lord's hand. Hold me every day, all day. I need the Lord's hand. Come here, Queen. I need the Lord's hand to be with me every day, all day. I need the Lord's hand.
Lord's hand. Fall down. I need the Lord's hand to pick me up when I'm down. I need the Lord's hand to push me when I feel like giving up. I need the Lord's hand to cover my eyes so I don't see the plot against me. I need the Lord's hand to cover my mouth so I won't cuss you back out. I need the Lord's hand to anoint my hand so I won't hit you when I feel like hitting you. I need the Lord's hand to cover my hand so I won't touch what don't belong to me. I need the Lord's hand to take my hand and walk with me. Yeah, you know I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I feel no evil. I got the Lord's hand. I need the Lord's hand. More love, more forgiveness. Because without the Lord's hand, I'm going to act just like you act. I'm going to cuss like you cuss. I'm going to lie like you lie. I'm going to fight like you fight. But is there anybody here that can thank God and his hand? I need the Lord's hand to dry my tears. So I won't get stuck right there. We've been man do it for a night. But the Lord has come in and draw my tears. Do I have anybody here? And the Lord stepped in and dried up your tears. Shout. Shout. Because the outcome of the bad prayer was the Lord granted his request. Shout! Because the same God that granted your best request is the same granted best player right here at the altar. God granted this request and the same granted God granted press release right here at this altar and God will release and grant you the desires of your heart. But you gotta shout for your pairs and as you shout for your pairs God is releasing great favor in your life as you shout for your bed. The favor of God is being assigned to your situation. The favor of God is being assigned to your family. The favor of God is being assigned to your marriage. The favor of God has been assigned to your ministry. The favor of God has been assigned to your job. The favor of God has been assigned to your school. The favor of God has been assigned to your future. As you shout for your bad, the favor of God is working it out. The favor of God turned it in his favor. And I'm living proof. If you don't let your faith fail you, that God will cause his favor to turn it around in your favor. Let's close right here. Your badge went from being painful. I told you, rearrange the text. Job went from being painful. Now the Bible says Job was audible. And audible is the difference in painful. I told you what your best meant. It meant painful and sorrow and pity. It meant doubt and out. But let me tell you what audible means. Because God is getting ready to turn it around in your life. The same boy they called sorrowful. The same boy they said wouldn't be anything. The same boy they gave up on. Now they call him audible. They call him worthy of honor. They call him good. They call him distinguished. They call him great. They call him glorious. They call him renamed. They call him acclaimed. They call him precious. They call him noble. They call him admirable. See, God turned your bears life all around. God took your bears from a negative to a positive. God turned EA's life all around. God took me from a negative to a positive. God turned Sterling's life all around to 
from a negative to a positive. God took first lady Jennifer in a negative and turned it into a positive. And if God can do it for Jabez, if God can do it for EA, if God can do it for Sterling, if God can do it for Jennifer, I tell you right now to shout God, God, do it for me, do it for me right now. Shout, do it for me right now. Now I see how you were there for me. Now I know somebody else, man, I'm going to testify. But since I've been in greenhouse, I'm stronger. I'm wiser. Coco and I'm paying. 